Hey everybody, it's Drum Jr. and in this week's video, I'm going to be walking you guys through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to jailbreak your Amazon Fire TV stick. Now, the newest current version out of Kodi at this moment is 17.4. Alright, so I decided to, you know, do a new video from scratch showing you guys what to do to get watching movies on your device. So let me jump right into it and start. So the first thing you're going to want to do is scroll all the way over to the right to settings. And once you get there, press down on your D-pad. And then you want to scroll over to device. Click device and go down to developer options. Now the reason why we are here is because we need to enable these two settings. These two settings is going to allow us to install Kodi. Kodi is not a third, is, I mean, it is a third party um, application, so it's not supported normally through the App Store. So, this is why we got to enable this. So, enable ADB bug, debugging, and then go down and enable this one too. Press turn on. Okay, once you do that, guys, go back. We're going to want to go back to the Fire Stick dashboard. Once you press back 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 you will get back to this home page right here and we're going to want to go left on the d-pad and you're going to want to type in exactly what i'm typing in what i am typing in is downloader downloader is a um application that will allow us to download cody so once you have that typed in scroll down and click the first suggestion which is downloader and then it should pop up to applications and games now downloader is obviously going to be the first one to pop up the icon is in bright orange so go ahead and select that now it's going to load the page to where you can download it see i've downloaded it before so it say download you own it it might say something else but basically that icon that area you're going to want to highlight and click it now it's going to load. Give it a second and it downloads. Luckily I got fast internet so it's going to be quick. <laughs> so once it's done installing, you're going to want to open it. Once we open it, you're going to hit OK. Alright, and we're going to want to go into where it has entered the URL. And we're going to click that type in exactly what I'm going to type in. This is the current URL to um, Cody. Now, okay, guys, once you type in this URL, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scroll down to go and press it. Once you press it, the URL will, or the downloading process will initiate. All right, guys, now once it finished downloading, it will automatically take you to this screen. We're going to go down and scroll over to install and press it. It's going to work its magic. Give it a couple of seconds or a minute, depending on how fast your device is, and I will show you what to do next. All right, guys, now once the app is installed, you will have the icon pop up at the bottom telling you it's ready to launch. And everything and you will get this cream so what we're going to want to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to want to hover over open click open what it's doing right now is preparing Cody 17.4 for the first time look guys you install Cody look at y'all now once this load up then I'm gonna show you guys how to install Aries wizard which will be a great starter for you guys to be able to access um, different add-ons and content. 
So now once this page loads up, this is the dashboard of Cody, guys. What you're going to want to do first is we're going to want to go up and click the spinning wheel, which is basically settings. Once you click that, we're going to want to go down to file manager, click that. And we're going to scroll down to add source. Click none and type in what I am typing in, guys. All right, guys. So once you type this in, you're going to want to scroll over to OK. All right, now we got to name it something for we to be able to easily find it just for mm, conventions, naming conventions. I'm going to name it Aries. Why not? Once you do that, hit OK. Once you hit OK on that screen, you want to scroll down and hit OK once again. Now, once we are here, you're going to want to go back. And go back and then once you get to this screen back to the dashboard we're gonna want to go down to the add-on tab and click it once we are here you want to scroll up and click this open box looking icon once you do that we want to go down to install from zip file this is gonna pop up don't panic it just we gotta enable um, add-ons from unknown sources so we're gonna hit settings okay and we're gonna hit this on it's just telling you warning da 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 don't worry about it hit yes and once you do that hit back once again and then you want to press install from zip again. Now you'll be able to go forward. Okay. Now we're going to scroll down to whatever you named your source. I named it Aries. And we're going to click that. And scroll down to repository, Aries project. Click that. Now, you all you got to do is wait for it to install you will know because it will give you a little notification saying that installation is complete like right there in the right hand corner all right now once you get that want to install from repository click install from repository and scroll down to aries project okay guys click aries project and then go down to project project my bad I meant to say program add-ons click that Aries wizard and then install now you will know it's done because in the top right hand corner once again it'll say Aries wizard installed now once you get that okay we're gonna want to go back and go back and go back and go back to the main um, screen so once you do that, you'll see under the add-ons column, there is Aries Wizard. So we're going to want to scroll over to that and click Aries Wizard. Right now, I'm about to show you guys is how to install Covenant, which is the most reliable um, source right now for content. So let Aries Wizard do his thing and open up for the first time, and then I'll show you guys how to install Covenant. All right, guys. Now, when Aries Wizard load up fully, you will be brought to this screen. You want to want to scroll over to the right, highlight Browse Add-on, click that, and go down to Video Add-ons and click that. Now scroll down to, to Covenant and scroll over to install. All you gotta do is click it. It's gonna install it for you.
Now, once it's done, it will say covenant was successfully installed. Click OK. Now, it's going to ask you install repository. Yes, you do want to install this repository. That way, every time you launch Cody for the first time, it will automatically update covenant and you have the newest and latest covenant on your device. So give that a second and it'll let you know Colossus was successfully installed. That is the repository of Covenant. So once this is all taken care of, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to close out Areas Wizard. So you want to scroll up to close, click that. And uh, no, I do not want to enter some competition. So I'm going to click no. You click no. Now, we're all done here as far as installing it. So if you go back, you'll see under video add-ons, you have Covenant. So I'm going to close this all out because you need to close it down because when you first open Covenant after installing it, sometimes it doesn't pop up titles. So we're going to go ahead and hit this power button and shut it down. Hit exit from Cody. Now... When you exit code, it'll take you back to this. We already downloaded everything, so hit home. Just hit home. All right, I'll take you back to the home screen. Once you're here, I want to show you guys some cool tips to make Cody appear easier for you to select. Because if you see, Cody is not here. You're probably wondering, how do I open Cody for the next time? What you want to do is go down to where it say, um your apps and games and scroll all the way over to the end and click see all it's gonna load everything up and look there's Cody we want to move this to the front of everything so we're gonna click the three lines on your remote which pops up options and we're gonna hit move to the front now it's at the front so if you go back to your home page look where Cody's at now right here so now, all you have to do is when you turn on your TV or your fire stick, it's just it'll take you to this screen. And now you got to do scroll down to Cody, click it, and Cody's gonna load up. And then once Cody load up, to get to your add-ons, I got to do scroll down to add-ons, and there you go, Covenant guys. Now, all you got to do is click Covenant. And Covenant is going to pop up immediately, and you have your choice between movies and TV shows. And then you can even scroll down to the search bar and search specific movies. So you click into this, and you get all these sub menus and stuff, and anything so like in theaters. And um, yeah, once that loads, you just will click a movie you like and enjoy it. So, um, guys, that pretty much wraps this tutorial up. If you guys have any questions or concern, go ahead and drop a comment down on this page. And make sure you hit like if you enjoy my content. Subscribe and check out my channel. It was a pleasure, guys, and i see you guys on the next video. All right, guys.